Hi, this is David and thanks for checking out my video today. Uh, what we're going to work on is basically putting together uh, a card that you can use for greetings or holiday cards or pretty much anything you want to use it for. And it's going to be easy to change later on. Uh, once you have the graphics and everything in, it's real simple to just go through and change the type, the color, uh, the photo, or pretty much whatever you'd like to do. So. With this being the finished idea of what we're going to try and accomplish, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this one and we'll just start from scratch. So what we're going to want to do is basically create a new layer. We're going to do a 5 by 7 at 300 dpi. And just as my habit, I always do a command J to copy the background layer. I just do that automatically. I don't know why, I just always have. Uh, go up to edit, fill, because we're going to fill it with black. And then what we're going to want to do is choose a color here that uh, really pops out so that if uh, you see a problem with it, you'll know it right away. And I'll explain that a little bit better in a few minutes. We're going to grab our rectangle tool. And sometimes it's underneath some of the other tools. And then basically we're going to draw a square or something close to it. And that's going to pop in the foreground color. And once we do that, this is where our photo is going to go inside of. So we're going to go grab the photo we want to put in. We're going to click on it and drag it up, drag it back down and put it over the rectangle and drop it. Now with this, we want to make sure that the photo is just over the rectangle box. Because what we're going to do is right click here and then create a clipping mask. And that drops the photo inside the rectangle. Now what I want to do is size it more appropriately. So we're going to do a Command T to free transform. And we're going to just shrink that down to fit inside the box. Now this is why I do the, the green color, something really off, is because if this were a black behind, you would probably not see that the the image was clipped off there. So this just allows you to see where it's not quite lining up or it's just, just not quite to the edge yet. So that's typically why I will do the green just so that it really pops out and is real obvious to you. Now since we have the, the black on black here, we can't really see the separation. What I want to do is put a small line all the way around this image. So we're going to go to the rectangle box because that's what's holding the image. We're going to double click out here next to it. And we're going to want to put a stroke around it. So we're going to hit stroke. We want to change the color. And I want to do a color that kind of matches what she's wearing. So we're just going to grab that and drop that in. And then we can change the size. The three is a little big. I think I'm going to drop it down just so it's a thin stripe. And click OK. So that's basically our image now. And any changes we want to make to this, we want to make to the rectangle box and the image. So uh, basically, I have the rectangle box highlighted. So I also want to highlight the, the layer 2, which is the photo. So I'm going to do a Command, click on that, which highlights both layers. I'm now going to right click and link the layers together. And when I do that, what that does is that allows me to move the image and the, the rectangle box together. It also allows me, if I do a Command T to free transform, if it was not the right size, I can basically move it as one. Um, if you decide you want it separated later, you can always go back in and, and release the clipping mask. So you can come back in here and unlink the layers, and then you can basically drop the fo another photo in really easily. So that's why I do that. Uh, now what we want to do is put in some graphics. So we're going to drop in a graphic here and a graphic here. So what I want to do is take my text tool, the letter T. And what I want to do is basically type in a letter. I'm going to type in the letter A. Now with this letter A, I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can see the effect here. Now sometimes graphics can, can work really well for you. Uh, they can give you some real you know some curves and things like that. Since we chose the Bickham script Pro, because it has a pro next to it, it's considered an open type letter. So if we pull up our character menu, which will be under window character, when you pull up your character menu, you have a drop-down menu that is right here. You click on that and it says open type. 
And when it says open type, what it allows you to do is come down to this word called swash. And when you click swash, it will change the letter to a more fancy curvy letter. And what we can do is use this as the graphic. Uh, pretty much all the letters uh, when you put when you do a swash allows you to get these really ornate letters. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually change the color to kind of match the the color in the sheet. And then what we want to do is make this larger too. So I'm going to take it up to about 230 230 points, so that we have something nice to work with and I'll just bring that down. I want to do a, something to give it a little more dimension, so I'm going to come to the letter here and I'm going to double click over here to bring up the layer style again. I'm going to hit bevel and emboss, which is right here. And then at this point, you can pretty much do anything you want with a beveling. If you want it deeper looking, a uh, little, you know, a different size to it as far as the bevel. Uh, if you want to soften it or make it a little, a little harder, you can do that. So any of the adjustments you can make in here. And any of these you, you will be able to come back to once you have this all saved in as a template. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Bring this over a little bit. And I'm just going to do a free transform and just give that a little curve so it kind of goes up into the corner. I'm going to actually close out of this one for now. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Give it a little more curve. So that's our letter. Now what I want to do is drop one over here and do the same thing. So instead of recreating everything again, I'm just going to come to this letter and do a Command J to copy that layer. And once I've done that, I can grab it with my pointer tool, my move tool. And I'm going to do a free transform so I can change the angle and everything. Once I have this up, I'm going to go ahead and do a right click and do a flip horizontally so I get it the opposite way. And then just drag that over. I'm going to give it a little curve. And just drop it in right there. Double click. I'm going to pull the picture up a little bit. Whoops. Pull the picture up a little bit. And now this one doesn't bother me. This is OK for me to have it covering the photo a little bit. It's not covering information. This piece I don't mind here. That's out of the way. This piece bothers me. It's covering up the model. So what I want to do is get rid of that effect. But I also want to get rid of the effect so that I can come back and change it if I did change my mind later. So what I'm going to do is create a mask. I'm going to make sure I'm on this layer. So this is my the letter A as a copy because I copied it from this one. I'm going to come down here and grab the mask. That's a little square with a circle in it. Now when you have a mask, the white reveals and black conceals. So when you, when you have the white showing, it sh lets the effect show through or whatever you've done show through. If you change it to black, then it basically stops the effect from showing through. So with our mask, we want to paint on our mask in black. So I'm going to hit the brush tool by hitting the letter B. I want to toggle to the, to the black instead of the white, so I'm going to hit the letter X to toggle to the black. Now what I can do is with a sharp brush, I can come in here and basically just paint that effect out of the image. So here we're going to come in and we're going to basically just paint this out. Now here I went a little too far, and this is a perfect example. With this, what we can do is we can actually come back in here, toggle back to the white, so we're painting in white, and we can bring that effect right back. So that's why we do it this way, um, just so that we can make any changes, and then everything's editable later. Here I, I must have hit it at some point, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the X, toggle, toggle back to the, oh, actually I need to paint in white, so we're going to toggle back to the white, and just paint that back in. So that's looking pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. So what we need to do now is add some type in here. And to do this, if we hit the type and we hit 
any layer here. If we try and drop in type here, this letter is so large that it's going to pull that letter up. And I want to basically put in some small type here. And to show you an example, I'm going to go ahead and click here and it will pull up a different one of the other letters, which we don't want it to do. So we don't want that to happen. So the way to prevent that is you can come over here and turn that off and go ahead and turn the other one off too. So basically we're, we're sort of working with a, with a clear, a clean palette without having to worry about grabbing the other letter when we click. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my, just my background layer. I'm going to change my point size to, to 25 because that, that would be way too large to do it the other way. I'm going to go ahead and change my type to white here because the blue in type is, is not going to show up very well. And instead of Bickham script here, what we're going to do is do Edwardian. So we have Edwardian script chosen and we can just come in here and type whatever we want now. So you can type I am pregnant due next week. Love you all. And then what we can do is if we want to change that, we can highlight it and squish it down or do whatever we want with it, basically. So now we have our type. We can now bring in the other graphics, and that's our card. So it's a pretty simple way to do it. Um, that basically give, gives us our card. 